and yes, I'm at work. <laughs> have a little moment to talk, so why not? Unless someone comes up and needs help, but it should be fine. Um, I got the cameras right here so I could check it all out. But I just want to do a little introduction to this video because I'm really bad when I go to events. Like, I will just take out the camera and I'll film without any explanation. A lot of people, before they go somewhere, they take the time to say, okay, here's where I'm going. And some of the places I didn't even know if I was going to film. Like, sometimes it gets busy and um, the Playboy Mansion reunion, which you'll see, um, I was unsure if I was going to film because, you know, some people are uneasy because there's, there's a lot of staff that goes there. Well, anyway, before I get into that, um, this introduction. But this is what happened this weekend. I'm at work. Um, I'm listening. I listen to like Jonesy's Jukebox a lot. I also listen to Taxi TV, which is a new uh, broadcast. Um, it's uh, this guy, uh, Ricky Menace, and also he goes by the Red Apache. And he does, um, he's, he drives for a living. And he does live radio shows. Uh, radio shows meaning like either on his Facebook, on his Instagram, uh, Twitter. I think he has a YouTube, but he hasn't uh, update, um, updated that uh, for a while. If you're interested in anything I'm talking about, just go to the description below on um, on my video here, right? <clears throat> and you you could see on my Instagram whenever I go somewhere, I tag everyone pretty much that I'm with. So if you see Taxi TV and you're interested in Taxi TV, just follow the links on my Instagram, and it'll show it'll it'll, it'll show everything like that. So this started out off on Friday. Then I did my deliveries. I do um, my, after I listen to the radio and I work here at work, which is a laundromat, uh, then I go out and I do deliveries. I deliver uh, laundry. That's what I do. And then I went home, took a little nap, uh, because TSOL, this band, TSOL, it's an old punk band, uh, it stands for True Sounds of Liberty. They're, oh, they were uh, playing with a bunch of cool bands, like the Volturas, uh, the Side Eyes. Um, oh, God, there's so many. Just look down below. There's like I can't even think of it. Uh, it'll have a logo. You're going to see the logo of all the bands that were playing at the Garden Grove Amphitheater. And if you've never been there, it's a really good outdoor event, and it's tiny. But the seating is so nice that it, no matter what, you'll be able to see everything. And it's, it's a small event. They do have a curfew. They, they close like at 10 o'clock at night or something like that. So it was an early show. And I was so lucky that I got a ride with Taxi TV. Ricky and his girlfriend, Jen, Generator, who's these really nice couple I met at Alex's. Uh, they do a lot of stuff. Um, they do a lot of stuff. Just follow them. I'll probably talk more about them because I think we're going to hang out some more, hopefully. Uh, they do a lot of gigs, and I like that. Oh, they promote a lot of gigs. So we go to uh, this event, and um, oh my God, I love the event. It was so cute. I bought uh, I bought some merchandise, and then I had a few Jack and Cokes. And it's Friday, so I've been up since four o'clock. I've been you know working, stressful week. Uh, took a nap, and, and so I just get really energized. I had a few Jack and Cokes. I met this cute guy, and uh, we were up in front. Like, I never get to see TSOL up in front, because if you know of punk bands, there's always a mosh pit. You get into trouble, like, and it's like, you could get hurt. And back in the day, it wouldn't bother me, but now that I'm older, and I don't, I, I don't want to get hurt, because if I get hurt, it's not about the pain so much. It's more like, I don't want to go to the hospital. <laughs> I don't want to take time off work. I can't afford it. I don't want to pay money to a hospital. Uh, that's what's going through my mind. Like, I'm like, I can't afford to get hurt. It costs too much money to be hurt. I'll be away from work if I get hurt. And I'm accident prone. I, I'm accident prone. I just am. Like, that's why I don't do sports. The ball would always hit me in the nose. It's just not good. But for some reason, this area was fine. Where I was at, I was at the very front. The whole concert, I was at the very front. I met this cute boy. We're dancing. We're kind of moshing, but we're kind of playing around. And I kissed him. I kind of made out. It's kind of my thing. I, I don't know. I used to want, like, after, like, going through this divorce and stuff, I used to want to, like, um, 
find a guy right away and get married and get back into the routine that I'm used to. But now I'm kind of enjoying being single and I don't want, I don't know, right now I'm going, now I'm in a different phase. I'm thinking I don't want the headaches. I just like going to these events and if it so happens I meet someone and we make out nothing, nothing dirty, nothing like, nothing more than just kissing. Like just, when I say making out, like necking, I mean like kissing. That's as far as it goes and I'm really liking it. Like, like, and it's been kind of a thing, not every event, but there's been a few events where I just hit it off with someone and we just kiss. That's it. Nothing else. Don't even know where, where his full name, where he lives, anything. It's awesome. It's awesome. I had such a great time. Like, it, it was an early night, and uh, Jen and uh, Rick, Ricky, they drove me home, and I hope to do more with them. Uh, I might do some interviews with them on, on their Taxi TV, and they promote a lot of stuff. And I do want to talk more about them because they're really cool. So definitely go to my Instagram link down below and check out the photos of Taxi TV um, and listen to some of their stuff. And they promote a lot of cool stuff. They're really good. So that was Friday. Saturday, I didn't really do much because I've been really busy. I got a lot of promotion stuff going on. Oh my God, this car's backing up. Please don't. Oh my God, he's getting so close to the window. You know how you see people when they're parking and they 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 don't they miss the brake and they could plow right in. Like oh my God, the guy got so close. But anyway, I got a lot of stuff coming up. Like I'm gonna do another video promoting um, my divorce party, which everyone's invited to. Me and Tanya or Tanya Danielle are gonna do another um, live broadcast on. Um, this guy's looking at me weird. I'm going to do another live broadcast. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> We're going to do another live broadcast. I'm going to talk about that. Excuse me. Hold on. Talk. Me and Tanya, Tanya Danielle is uh, going to be doing another live chat. So I'm going to talk to you about that. Uh, that's going to be April 30th, uh, Tuesday, uh, around 3 o'clock p.m. And also my... My divorce party, my world's largest divorce party. Well, I'm going to do a video about promoting that. Uh, but just to let you know, it's April 28th. It's a Sunday. Um, it's an early uh, time frame. It starts at 2 o'clock in the afternoon until about 8 o'clock at night. But, but the party still goes on. You don't have to leave right at 8 p.m. But then other party goers are going to be coming in. And it's just going to be, you know, it's going to be, uh, you know, like, you could, you could still stay, in other words. Uh, you don't have to leave at 8. But that's the time frame that I have my divorce party. And it's going to be at Club Ripples in Long Beach. And the links are all going to be down below. Just follow the links. I'm going to do a video all about that. But anyway, Saturday, I basically just stayed on the couch, watched movies, drank wine, ate bread, just hung out with my animals because I've had a stressful week. Well, you know, I, I got to meet Angeline. I I'm trying to promote uh, and plan my divorce party. I got Tanya Danielle coming up. I got shoots coming up. Um, I got a lot of concerts coming up, like a lot of concerts coming up. I have a con concert at least once a month, plus trying to juggle shoots and everything. So Saturday, I pretty much just kind of, I like one day a week where I just stay home and do nothing but be with my animals and just chill and vegetate and sleep as much as possible. And that was my Saturday. Sunday what was Sunday. Oh yeah, Sunday, the Playboy Mansion reunion. We've been doing this uh, since Pat died, um, and that was that was awesome. You let you see everyone. We all just meet up. You don't know who's going to show up. Some people move far away. Some people are able to come. It's not always everyone, but Cooper was there. You know, have um, son who now pretty much taken over Playboy. He was there. I got to see so many um, old friends, the staff, the butlers, uh, the office staff, playmates, uh, even Manny, who um, is the groundskeeper for the Playboy Mansion. He still works at the Playboy Mansion, even though it's not really a Playboy Mansion anymore. Whoever owned it, I think it's the Paps Blue Ribbon people. And so he still works there. So there's there's a few staff members that, that stayed on, which is awesome. Um, I wish I'd taken more pictures there, 
But, you know, I feel uncomfortable. I even felt uncomfortable back when I lived at the Playboy Mansion and when I was a guest there, I didn't take so many. I wish I did more because now I've seen everyone takes pictures and they share them. But I felt, I don't know, I was like the, the, the child, the black sheep of the family where, like, if I were to sh share pictures, Mary would get in trouble. Well, not get me in trouble, but she would, like, Stacy, you shouldn't. You know, like, in other words, it was kind of like, frowned upon even though they never really told you you couldn't really share pictures it was just kind of i just felt that i should not because it was a safe haven for um celebrities and people that want to come and hang out but not be um bombarded with um you know pictures and paparazzi and all that stuff so you know what i mean like i just felt weird um and plus half took so many pictures the staff when i used to be there not, how did he always just take pictures? He hired the staff. He had the staff take pictures. That's why I have so many pictures. And so, so I would get so many pictures that I honestly didn't have to take pictures when I was in the Playboy Mansion. So that was a good thing. And they were always usually pictures of me, and they were actually good. Like, they were good lighting. It was a good camera. It's not like a selfie mode, you know? And back then, selfies and Twitter and Instagram wasn't as prominent as it is now. Um... If at all, back, 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 when I was really at Playboy in, like, 2002, like, it was hardly ever done. Like, I would share a little bit on my website, but, they, you know, not really. Um, so, like, I took a little bit of video because the pictures were almost too hard because every time you talk to someone, you're talking, and then you would have to stop the conversation and get your camera out and get the right angle, and, like, it just was awkward, like, I just wanted to hang out. So I took video because I'm like, you know what? I was, video's a lot easier because I could walk around like, hey, talk. Hey, you know, just capture the moment. And whatever I capture, I capture. So I took some video. I did take a few pictures. And then other people took pictures. So I'm sure I'm going to get more pictures. I'm going to post the pictures and the video from the Playboy Mansion at the end of this video that you're watching right now. Um, as far as, as many pictures and video that I have at the moment, I'm sure... As time goes on, other people are going to be posting pictures, and I'm probably going to get more pictures, which I hope once I find them, I'll put them on Instagram. So follow my Instagram for more of those pictures, um, Playboy um, reunion photos, and I can't wait till next year. Kia puts that together. Kia it was a, um, I don't want to say like a butler. She was like everything for Playboy. She would do almost whatever. You, she would take pictures. She would do everything in Playboy. She still does. She hosts that together. Uh, it was everyone brought like food. There's macaroni and cheese. Uh, even though I don't eat meat, there's fried chicken. They're barbecuing. Uh, they even have the Jello shots there. Um, I brought wine and, and chips and stuff. In fact, I know they have so much stuff left over because last year when I brought stuff, that's why I didn't bring that much this year because seriously, they bring everyone brings so much food that they have so much left over, so much left over. But, um, but I did bring some, um, some wine at one of the guests that took it. I got like a sangria. And so one of the guests, like he liked it. So I'm glad I brought that. I brought sangria and chips. Um, and what else? Like it was, I don't even know what to say. It's just, it's just overwhelming. The day goes by really quickly. Um, uh, I wish I took in more selfies all the way. Ray was there. Ray Anthony was there. Uh, I wish I took a photo with him, but other people took photos with him. Um, like I said, Cooper was there. I saw, um, I just saw everyone. I saw everyone. Um, it was really good to see everyone. And um, I'm really happy that we're continuing to do this, the Playboy Mansion reunion. And we try to do it like during Hemp's birthday uh, weekend, you know, April 7th, April 9th, you know, around then, because that's when he would do the Casablanca thing. And it's during Easter, and it makes sense because all the bunnies come out on Easter, Playboy bunnies, you know, and it's good weather, and it's springtime, and everyone's happy. So, um, so yeah, that's what I did this weekend. And, um, and yesterday was Monday, and I did my grocery haul. You're going to see that. And then uh, now it's Tuesday, and I'm going to go home and clean the house. Uh, that's what I got going on Tuesday, and then I got a lot of stuff coming up, and I got to film more videos. But I figured I might as well film this right now because it is a lull right now at work. It's kind of like nothing really going on. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to do this right now, do a little intro to this video, 
you're going to see me at work on Friday. Um, you're going to see uh, me listening to Taxi TV. You're going to see me going to the concert. You're going to see the live bands. You're going to see the punk bands. I might put the punk bands after the Playboy match, even though that happened on Friday, because I'm sure you want to see the Playboy stuff. Um, so the Playboys, so it might not be in order, but you're going to see the bands, um, because I did record a little bit of that, and I did record the Playboy Mansion, you're going to see a little bit of that. I don't think I recorded anything for Saturday, but anyway, this is the introduction, a long, long introduction, and yes, I'm doing it on my laptop, that's why it's bad, like, it's just, there's not really good lighting at work, and so I'm sorry if I look like through a cheesecloth, but that's just the way it is, so stay tuned. To see the video and see the pictures and follow the links on my Instagram if you if you want to know what band is what. Oh, and there is going to be um, I'm going to post a, a little picture of the bands on who they are and that's the that's the listings of who they are. It'll show you. So if you're like who what band is that, you'll see. It's 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 a, it's in order. So <laughs> there you go. Well anyway, and if you want to see all the pictures from Playboy Mansion and stuff like that, again my Instagram. Stacy Burke. All right, keep watching to all my Stacy Cadets and all my Burkettes. I hope you have a groovy day. Till next time, peace. Stay tuned. Video coming up right now. Good night, Ramona. Hey, so there you have it. Good night, Ramona. Good night by Greg Antista. The lead delivery girl. That's who I am. Listening to Jonesy's jukebox. Teach I am. Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Chief.
Pictures take too long, videos e easier. And what we got right here. And we got the magic. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hello! Food. We saw the food. And they're having a raffle right now. They're having a raffle right here. Oh. We're having a raffle. We're in a walk through. Oh, let's see the pictures. Whoop, 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 All right, I got some pictures. All the stuff. I got It's a good day. I didn't take that many pictures because, you know. And then they got this little backdrop. It's kind of a cool little backdrop. Right there. There's Ray Anthony over there. And there's a ball. I, I was okay. I maintained. And they're still doing raffles over here. And there's just, I'm doing video because I got done with doing pictures because it's like so to do pictures. Now, like, yeah, yeah. Because it's like, lovely wall shirt. Oh my god! 1999. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> 